Hey everyone, it's your girl Nai here. Welcome back to today's video. Wow, the look <laughs> crazy. It is actually, I don't know what time it is right now. I'm actually filming on my phone because I'm vlogging today and I don't feel like carrying around my big camera, so. Today, I'm getting my third piercing. I have two, wait, I don't have my earrings in, but I'm getting my third. And I'm wearing this big jacket because today it legit snowed. We'll just wear this until we get to the place. All right. I'm in clothes. Look at me vlogging in public. I'm trying to get earrings to match my ones I just got. Friend. Walmart. <laughs> What's so everyone, like I'm interrupting this video to talk and explain a few things. So I just like to say sorry about like me not vlogging at the actual parlor. Literally, they had rules where you cannot tape, take pictures or anything during the process, which suck for a YouTuber want to be a girl like myself who wanted to get that content but it's fine you know um it still came out good but it was kind of sad like but i wanted to talk about my experience because i did not do that any part of this vlog at all i just said like oh my god it's so cute blah, blah, blah. It's really cute like i feel like a bad bee so i'm not gonna say the name of the business that i want to just because it's not like a branch and i want people to know where i live so that being said for my first and second piercing both of them went to Claire's. The first one, I was like four months old. Mommy! According to my mom, I was like two months old when I got my very first piercing, which was, of course, normal one that like basically everyone has. So yeah, I got that piercing. So I got that at Claire's. I guess it went fine. I'm thriving now. And then I got my second piercing at Claire's in seventh grade, like around October-ish time. The only reason I remember that is because number one, I filmed it and I have a video on my channel about it. It was seventh grade in Aya. So go watch that video if you want, but I look nothing like this, like at all. And the video quality I know was like terrible, but to each its own. But yeah, it um like Claire's not supposed to do any like cartilage piercings at all. They're only really supposed to do the, like the first piercing but some of them you know bend the rules and some of them it just depends on the location that you go to so now for this time around I went to an actual parlor place and not Claire's which you know what matter of fact let's look at the benefits because some of my friends are like why does it matter whatever so if you ever if you ever seen a video of someone getting their earrings pierced at Claire's or you've seen that happen or you've been a victim or whatever they use a piercing gun which I'll show you what it looks like that's what it looks like rather than a regular needle <laughs> anyways those are just some of the problems and you could do your own research or whatever like i don't really care what you do but i'm just not about it and um i don't know if you would call earrings permanent but i feel like it's kind of right there tattoos like you're putting a hole in your body you're scarring your body personally me i'd rather have it done by a professional than a random Claire's employee. So that's the why I did not go to Claire's this time. And also again, like, just not about it. So I went to this actual parlor and I also went for the experience. It's like, it was like so much better. So when I first got there, I told them what piercing I wanted. And she told me like about the process and stuff. And then she showed me like the different earrings and stuff that they have. Um, the way they do their earrings, it was more like a bougie place, not gonna lie. So it was more expensive than going to more, most places. The finished product was about like $85. And that was with the tip that I gave and I paid with it my own money. Um, what was I saying? And after that, I filled out some forms. My dad filled out some forms and then we went to, like after waiting for a few minutes, we went to the back and the room and she told us all the instructions of what's gonna happen, da, 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 don't do this, don't do that, do this, do that, here's some stuff, da, 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 da. <laughs> and then, um, then I laid on my side, she on the piercing, laid on my side on the piercing and actually the piercing, I don't understand this at all, but the needle piercing hurt less than a gun and I don't know why. I feel like, I don't know, but yeah. So I'm sorry, that's basically the all that went down and yeah, I don't really know what else there is to say. I have a checkup appointment in a month, February 2nd, I think, so yeah, that's all I have to say. Hey everyone, so I literally just got home and sorry, like I feel like this vlog is all over the place. I don't even know how much footage I've got so far, probably like none, but. But yeah, I really love it. It's so freaking cute. <gasps> I'm so excited about it. My fit today, pretty laid back, I'd say. I'm wearing this jacket right from Ross that I never worn before, like out of a year ago. And then this white shirt from Rue 21, bralette from Rue 21, jeans from American Eagle, and white Converse. But I have to go to the gym, so I'll take you there if I need to change. Okay, guys, <coughs> we're going to the gym, we're going with my dad, and we're going to Planet Fitness. And yeah, that's just up to you. Got hot, so we took this off. I literally wear that jacket every day. 
She done made the airbag pop out. Whip with a drop top roof. Whip that space back on the dashboard. Car in a junkyard soon. Tow truck pick up because the stuck can't move. Hood crush been rushed to the hospital. Tow, 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 tow. Let the casualties you'll see. Tune in to the evening.